Right, very quick little tip, which I thought everyone knew about, but having watched a few examples of people not doing this <laughs> on YouTube recently, I thought I'd do a very quick video about it. <clears throat> okay, so there are many laws which come into play when you're working in a workshop, and one of the most common ones is by a bloke called Sod. Now, I had a very good example of this crop up this morning. I'm in the process of making a power feed. There's the uh, motor gearbox unit for the x-axis on the Sherline mill. Now it's identical to the one I made for the compound side on the Walco lathe except it has a slightly different uh, adapter. And I've, uh, I was making this brass plate to hold the switch this morning and I needed a couple of screws to hold it on to the body of the motor gearbox unit. Now sod law in this case it says basically that no matter how many different lengths of any given thread size screw that you have, and I have many screws like and bolts like many people do in their workshops, you won't have one that's exactly the right length for the job that you're doing. And this happened to me this morning. So obviously I had to cut down and shorten the bolt. Now in this particular instant, it was a four mil bolt like this, and I only needed one that's about a quarter of an inch long. So. There are many ways you can cut these down. You can use a uh, cutting disc on a die grinder. You know, there's bands, portable bands, well, there's loads of different ways of doing it, but probably most people will use a hacksaw, particularly on a little tiny bolt like this. So what's the tip then? Well, it's a couple of things really. First off, <clears throat> even if you've got a die nut that you can use to clean the threads up after with, afterwards with, it's much better and it will save you a hell of a lot of time if you use a sacrificial nut on the screw. Okay, now where you can see that, that's in focus. So wind it on to the the length that you need to, to cut off. We'll say we'll put it we'll put it there. And I want the bolt to be about a quarter of an inch, so that's what I'm going to do. And now we'll go over to the vise, and I'll show you what I do next. So <laughs> the first thing. I see people do this all the time is they grip the bolt or screw by the head in the vise and you think you know what's that all about you're not going to need this bit that you're going to cut off so stick it in the vise and grip it by the bit of thread that's going to be wasted like that let's move around to the side a bit so you've got the bit of thread that you're not going to need in the vise so it doesn't matter if you damage it because you're just going to throw that away and the bit you do want is sticking out so let's hack all that off blimey you're actually seeing me do some work this is a very rare treat <laughs> Right, so there we go, all done. Now I've still got the nut on the end of the bolt and I've now got the bolt clamped in one of my favorite little tools. Very old tool, but absolutely bloody brilliant for this sort of stuff. <clears throat> and I'm gonna use my little bench disc sander just to clean the rough edges up where we cut it with the saw. go that's all you need to do just to clean the end up make it look nice and smooth job done okay <clears throat> so that's what we've got so far right now I'm going to put it back in the little hand vise but I'm going to hold the nut this time so there you go got it in the little hand vise held by the nut and I'm now going to attempt to unscrew it. Now, the nut, which we may damage doing this, but it doesn't matter because the nuts, these little tiny nuts are to a penny, but the nut will, is steel and it will clean up the threads on the screw as we, as we take it out. Now, sometimes you might need to put a, a wrench, an Allen key on this or 
screwdriver if it's tight but nine times out of ten if you've cleaned the end up on a on a grinding surface then it, it they generally they the, they will come out okay but this will ensure that when you take this off this is ready to be used on whatever you want it to be used on so we'll take it out there we go and there you go one bolt the right length with perfectly formed threads on the end and not a die nut in sight it's a real quick and easy way and it saves you hassle and aggravation in the long term you know because also with small bolts like this if the threads are damaged on the end it sometimes it's very difficult to actually get the die nut on them to sort of reform them whereas you've already got the nut on the screw it's a doddle and uh, this has saved me so much time uh, and aggravation in the past so i just thought uh, that said, I thought everyone knew this, but I've seen people not doing this technique, and I just thought, well, you know, this just saves so much time. Anyway, there you go. Quick and easy tip when you're cutting down bolts and screws. Hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching. Cheers!